A virtuous woman directs her mind. She is a director of her mind. She is a mind coach. She protects her mind by reading the word, remembering the word, and constantly reaching for God's wisdom. A woman came from the rib of Adam. The rib is a bone. A bone is the reason why the body can be in structure. It can be it can have the correct structure, a bone. The purpose for a bone is to give structure to the body. And so a woman was created to bring structure. So she has to stay in the anointing of structure. A virtuous woman has an anointing of structure. She is a bone. She brings structure when she's in wisdom, when she's in prayer. She brings structure when she's in thanksgiving. A woman brings structure when she is hungry for the next level in the spirit. If you listen to liars as a woman, you're a liar yourself. You are whatever you entertain. You are whatever you entertain. Whatever you entertain is a reflection of who you are. You are becoming whoever entertains you. You are becoming whoever entertains you. Vashti and Esther had different mentors. There was somebody that Vashti saw that encouraged her to disobey the king. Esther had Mordecai. Mordecai encouraged her to not be stupid. <laughs> Behind every dumb woman is a dumb voice. Or there may be more than one dumb voice. The genius of a woman is to discern who comes into her life, who's really for her. Because some people will counsel you to cancel you. Is your counselor developing the queen in you? Because the more queenly you become, the more submissive you become. The more queenly you become, the more attentive you become. Queens answer the dreams of kings. Queens answer the dreams of kings. A virtuous woman has to evaluate who are my counselors? Who am I letting in my life give me advice? Every virtuous woman knows that you must investigate the authority of people that desire to speak to you. Investigate their authority. Investigate the authority of people that desire to speak to you. Which authority do you come to me in? Remember, it was the people that was asking King Jesus, what authority are you doing these miracles? Really, virtue is also a grace to discover which authority are people coming to you in? Are they coming in the authority to demote you? Are they coming in the authority to promote you? Are they coming in the authority to anoint you or weaken you? Are they coming in the authority to, to create your focus or create your distraction? Distraction is not just a thing, it's also a place, it's also a person. Distraction has three major streams. The three major streams of distraction is a person, place, or thing. For Lot's wife, it was a place, Sodom and Gomorrah. For Achan, it was a thing. He took objects from the enemy's camp. For Samson, it was Delilah. It was a person. Distraction come in three major forms, a person, place, or thing. Virtue is a grace to investigate which authority do people come to you in. Are they coming to you in the authority of God? If someone comes to you in the authority of God, they will never contradict your leader. But they will give you information for you to never contradict your leader. 
<laughs> Every woman has to avoid the Jezebel spirit. Will you defeat the Jezebel spirit? Most women cannot defeat the Jezebel spirit. Because defeating the Jezebel spirit doesn't come through just a decision. It comes through learning. You have to learn. The more you learn the things of God, the more you defeat the Jezebel spirit as a woman. If you're not learning, you're not defeating the Jezebel spirit. Because the Jezebel spirit is a dumb spirit. It's a blind spirit. Jezebel spirit is a destroying spirit. But the main thing that a Jezebel spirit does, it doesn't destroy. The major person that a Jezebel spirit destroys is not, is not another person. It is itself. That's why I said the Jezebel spirit is blind. It is dumb. The only way that you can defeat the Jezebel spirit if you tap into the position of learning. A prudent woman is a student woman. A prudent woman is a student woman. She is a learner and a discerner. Discernment is something that you do quickly. Learning is something you do gradually. Because to learn, it, it, it means to commit yourself in the timing of God to obtain a truth correctly and to manifest behavior excellently and to speak words that release life, to think thoughts that release strength, to do deeds that release blessing, to release attitudes that demonstrate kindness.